on photography is a very important essay written by the American critic Susan Sontag in 1977. Together with uh, Walter Benjamin's uh, Short History of Photography and Roland Barthes' Camera Lucida, it's one of the most interesting works uh, dealing uh, with uh, the art of photography. What we are going uh, to tackle today uh, is taken from the first chapter of his study. And the first um, element she points out is uh, what realism means, what a realistic view of the world is. Basically, it's connected to knowledge. And in order to understand, uh, knowledge must be connected to information too. So photographs are considered uh, pivotal uh, in, in this uh, because they give information. Um, but um, we have to go deeper into this. For sure, photographs uh, are extremely important to spies, meteorologists, coroners, archaeologists that need evidence of what uh, reality appeared at a precise moment. But um, there are also situations in which uh, photographs are more similar to fiction and their information is more similar to fiction than uh, other, for other sources of information. Let's try to understand why. This idea that photographs uh, can spread information is connected to something uh, called news. Uh, there are different uh, newspapers uh, and the use uh, of photographs um, in newspapers also um, shows us uh, what their target readers are. For example, uh, the American Daily News um, likes to call itself New York's picture newspaper because it's full of photographs that are an easy way of giving information to people. What kind of people? Those people that don't like reading, don't have the skills to read and go deeper. That's why Susan Sontag says that it's, uh, it has to do with populist identity because it's uh, um, giving people what they want. Or um, on, on the opposite, we can find Le Monde. Le Monde is the most sophisticated newspaper because its target readers are well-accomplished, well-informed readers. And because of this, there are no photographs at all. Consider that this essay was written in 1977. Why? Because um, the idea that Le Monde uh, has got um, is that uh, an article and what is written in the article is much better in order to illustrate um, reality because it can provide an analysis of, of a fact, of an event. On the one hand, uh, on the other hand, this is really true because uh, <clears throat> through a camera reality appears manageable and atomic. Atomic because it's divided into pieces uh, that apparently have no connections one with the other. Manageable because you feel that uh, thanks to um, seeing a photograph you can understand what lies behind. You have a grasp on reality. But uh, so the world that is represented by pictures um, um, is a world in which there is no interconnectedness, no continuity to. On the other hand, each moment um, is a kind of mystery, and that's why a photograph uh, is uh, fascinating, it's luring, because uh, it can uh, um, hint uh, to a reality uh, that you can uh, imagine, invent. That's why photographs have multiple meanings, and that's why they are a potential object of fasc fascination. Nowadays, our society is absolutely charmed by this uh, object, by photographs that have replaced uh, written texts. So, uh, what does a, a photographic image say? There is the surface. Reality cannot be shown in a different way and uh, you have to imagine what it might be. Go beyond it. But while going behind it, we don't have many other pieces of information. That's why we have to imagine, to fantasize. Photographs cannot explain. They show, but they don't explain. And that's why you are invitation to speculation, fantasy and imagination. The fact that we imagine that the world is what the camera records 
is the opposite of understanding. Because understanding means not accepting the world as it looks, is trying to go beyond what appears, to find out what the mechanisms that are hidden behind the surface are. So, um, our possibility of understanding is connected to say no in the sense of I want to go further, I want to go deeper into what appears. That's why Susan Sontag says uh, we will never understand anything from uh, photographs, even if there might be very interesting uh, um, photographs, such as those uh, depicting the squalor of New York uh, in the 1880s, uh, that tell us a lot about the urban poverty in the late 19th century that was similar um, in America to what uh, um, it was uh, in, uh, in, uh, in England and was perfectly described by Dickens. But even if this is true, very often the camera uh, re um, represents reality hiding more than showing. That's why, for example, Brecht said, a photograph of the Krupp works, and Krupp is a center for uh, German center for uh, rearmament, um, a factory, doesn't say us not anything about the way it is organized. So, understanding is based on knowing the mechanisms of something, the way they work. And uh, this takes place in time, must be explained in time. So, it must be narrated, it must be told, not shown, through the um, sudden image of a photograph.